friends, greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 29 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. Our number is 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. If you have questions about ingredients, formulations, health challenges, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we welcome your calls on the bright side today and every day, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about specific things you may have heard about or read about, let us help clear up the confusion, 844-236-6010. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, we welcome your calls, 844-236-6010. And if you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my websites, brightsideben.com or my blog, criticalhealthnews.com or pharmacistben.com. You can order products right off the website, and you can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team right off the website as well. Or you can call the phone team at 866-735-2470. And if you want to purchase any of our Truth Treatment products, including our Retinol 5% Gel, made with 25% vitamin C, 5% Retinol, uh, it's a little bit of transdermal penetrating agent. And you know what? That's it. That's all we put in our products. We only stuff that your skin can use and only stuff that your skin needs. No preservatives, no fragrances, no waxes, no emulsifiers. If you've tried to use retinol in the past or retinoic acid in the past, you are going to be pleasantly surprised when you use our retinol 5% gel because it's non-irritating. And I know that's impossible according to dermatologists. I know that's impossible according to estheticians and skincare professionals. Give it a shot. Retinol 5% gel off truetreatments.com true and you'll see what I mean. All right. We've been talking about the skin and its relationship to stress, especially as it's connected to skin conditions like melasma, the classic manifestation of a skin res of a stress response. Melasma is a hyperpigmentation or dark spots. The adrenal glands mediate the stress response. The adrenal glands are our melasma glands. There are hyperpigmentation glands. Don't let anybody tell you it's a sun problem. Don't blame the sun for stress-induced conditions. You're not going to get any better. If we blame outside conditions for what's inside our bodies, if we blame the outside world for what are our lifestyle choices, we're not going to be able to get better. Melasma, hyperpigmentation, skin issues are much more adrenal gland issues than they are skin issues. And the adrenal glands are our stress management glands. And because all, and I repeat all, chronic degenerative diseases involve burden, involve load, involve stress, degenerative health challenges, whether we're talking arthritis, or we're talking heart disease, or autoimmune disease, or cancer, all involve the adrenal glands. Long-term chronic activation of these two little tiny miraculous little glands that sit on top of the kidneys, adrenal means on top of the kidneys, it's long, along with the thyroid are behind all chronic degenerative diseases. Everybody who has a chronic degenerative disease is hypothyroid, everyone, or perhaps hyperthyroid, but more often than not, hypothyroid. And the point I'm making is the thyroid's involved. And it doesn't matter what your tests say. By definition, where there's smoke, there's fire. 
by definition, where there's chronic degenerative diseases, there is a thyroid and adrenal issue. Yesterday, there was an article published in, uh, uh, actually, it was a study from the University, Co uh, University College of London. This is an, the ultimate in medical nonsense. Alzheimer's disease, according to the University College of this uh, study from the University College of London, Alzheimer's disease, which is a classic example of a degenerative disease of stress and of burden, Alzheimer's disease, according to the brilliant medical minds at the University College of London, is infectious. It's caused by infections. This is what uh, Professor John Collins, head of the neurodegenerative, diseases, uh, neurodegenerative Disease Department at the University of College in London says, Alzheimer's disease is infectious. Yes, you catch it. I, I, I can't believe it. I mean, I, I shouldn't be surprised when I hear these, but it just amazes me that people who are seemingly, supposedly intelligent can say these things. This is what Dr. Collins says, and he's the head of the Neurodegenerative Disease Department at the University College of London. Quote, until now it was thought that Alzheimer's occurred only as a result of inheriting genetic mutations, or, get this now, from random sporadic events. This is what he's saying. He's saying that Alzheimer's is random. It just happens. It's angels sprinkling Alzheimer's disease dust on our heads and nobody knows why or it's a mutation and now according to the doctor I'm not kidding you folks he says now we got to consider that we catch it that it's infectious it's acquired I'm not kidding you this is what he says this is the kind of stupidity we hear from so-called intelligent medical professionals we catch disease or they're random mistakes or we get them from our fathers and mothers, from our genetics. You know, the problem with this kind of thinking, aside from that it is just pure stupidity. I wish I could talk to this guy in person so I'd have to say it behind his back. But it is just so egregiously retarded. The problem with this kind of nonsense is, aside from the fact that it completely misunderstands, it completely dismisses the ability of the body to heal and regenerate itself. It completely marginalizes the built-in healing processes that are built into the body. What makes this so egregious and so terrible is that it makes us powerless. It takes the power away from us and our choices and our lifestyle. It takes the responsibility from us and our choices and our lifestyle for dealing with degenerative diseases and puts it in the doctor's lap. We can't do anything. We just got to go to the doctor. If it's all random. It's all in our genes or we catch it from our neighbors. We catch Alzheimer's disease from our neighbors. Then the power to control our health has now been removed from us. And it leads us to believe that our lifestyle choices, how we eat, how we breathe, how we respond to stress, don't matter. And all we can do if we're sick is just go to the doctor. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not buying that. Alzheimer's disease is not something you catch. And it's not in your genes. The bright side message that we talk about every day here on this program is an empowering message. It takes the power away from the medical model and puts it where it belongs, in our laps, in our lives. The bright side message that we talk about every day, five days a week, Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, flies in the face of this kind of medical nonsense. The bright side philosophy says, the body is built for healing and regeneration. If it has the raw materials to do, it, do its work in a clean place to do its work, it knows what to do. We're designed to self-heal. We couldn't have survived two million years on the planet as a human species if we didn't have the ability to regenerate and self-heal. Degeneration means something's wrong. It's not an accident. It's not random and sporadic. We don't catch degeneration. It means something is missing. Something's corrupting the system. Something's not getting in, or something's getting in that shouldn't be, or both. In other words, degenerative disease is all about us, for better or worse, and that's good news. Alzheimer's disease, or any other degenerative disease, or skin conditions, melasma, acne, hyperpigmentation, oily skin, whatever. Uh, rosacea, psoriasis, eczema, these are the manifestation of long-term burden, sometimes lifetime burden. If it was infectious, Alzheimer's disease was infectious. If we caught it, if it was genetic or random, why does it only happen in older folks? Why does it, it's so random and infectious and genetic, why don't kids get Alzheimer's disease? Anyway, all right, we're going to talk about adrenals and hyperpigmentation and melasma when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. back on the 
Bright Sinai Pharmacist, Ben, 844 6010 is our number. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll get to your calls here in just a moment, so hang tight. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products that you hear advertised on the Bright Side or recommended on the program, you can call the Bright Side Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you have a background in network marketing or you know how to promote products. We're looking for business builders as well. Love to have you on my team as a business builder. You can call the folks at the, on the phone team at 866-735-2470. They can tell you all about it. Of course, you can always purchase products or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off our websites, brightsideben.com or our blogs, pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. Thank you to John T. Collier and Robert Lundgren who set those up. You can also search any of the programs if you miss a program at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for that. There's also a search engine for searching archives at brightsideben.com. Okay, so we're talking skin, melasma, hyperpigmentation. Hyperpigmentation and melasma, like all chronic skin conditions or all chronic conditions are internally based, particularly when it comes to the adrenal glands and the stress glands. Alzheimer's disease is not a degenerative is not an infectious disease. It's a degenerative disease. Same with all chronic degenerative diseases. They're not infectious. You don't catch them. They're not genetically based. They have to do with how we live our lives. And it doesn't matter what our biochemically challenged medical model says. When it comes to Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, macular degeneration, hypertension, skin diseases, arthritis, diabetes, whatever, you're looking at lifestyle issues. And because uh, these lifestyle issues oftentimes involve burden, oftentimes involve the stress response. You've got an adrenal condition. Emergency, stress, burden usually involves the immune system as well, and that means foods. That means high blood sugar. That means low levels of oxygen. That means we can address all of these things ourselves. Food, digestion, blood sugar, respiration. As always, the best ways to take care of chronic health issues are things we can do from the comfort of our own kitchens, from the comfort of our own living rooms. Ultimately, that's why I do this program, you guys, is to let everybody know, and I've seen this over and over and over again in 32 years of being in the healthcare field, after speaking to thousands upon thousands of people, after seeing reversals, hundreds, if not thousands of times, of chronic degenerative diseases of all kinds, including cancer. We're gonna have a guest on here in a couple of weeks, hopefully sooner than that, who's a physician, I've known her for years. She cured herself of stage four or stage three, metastatic, meaning it's spread throughout her body, breast cancer, using nutrition, no chemotherapy. And this is what is possible. If it's possible in one physical body, it's possible in any physical body. Yesterday we left off talking about aldosterone, a hormone that you hardly ever hear about. It's an adrenal hormone, it's a stress hormone like cortisol. It goes up when we're under stress and it's how fluids and salts are controlled. Fluid and salts are controlled via the stress response. And fluids and salts are one of the, and aldosterone, the hormone aldosterone, are one of, if not the determining, most important determining factor, aldosterone is, when it comes to assuring the appropriate concentration of electrical minerals. Stress and the concentration of electrical minerals via this hormone aldosterone is how our body controls salt. It's how our body controls electrolytes. Electrolytes meaning salt, inside and outside the cells. That means in addition to affecting blood pressure, aldosterone is a major blood pressure hormone, the stress response, the stress hormones can have, a, have an effect on the health of all of our cells. Stress will impair the health of cells. And stress can be respiratory stress, sugar stress, food stress. That means foods, respiration, and sugar control the health of cells. And because all diseases sell disease, there you go. Foods, digestion, and respiration. The stress response is important, but it's only supposed to kick in occasionally. It's long-term, chronic, day-to-day, -day, over and over stress that never ends. One of the ba ways that the body clears out stress hormones, one of, the body, the, one of the ways the body clears out cortisol, one of the ways the body clears out aldosterone, one of the ways the body clears out adrenaline, all of these stress hormones, is by relaxing. The parasympathetic relaxation nervous system is responsible for eliminating and clearing out these hormones. If we're always under stress, if we're under chronic long-term stress from foods, from sugar, from respiration, from psychological techniques, from CNN and Fox News and the government warning us about terror.